deeply into the fidget spinner's dimension. Oh. Okay, I think I need to stop spinning this now. You realize what this is, everybody. It is a fidget spinner. Now you're probably wondering, what on earth is a fidget spinner? Well, basically, a fidget spinner is a little bearing in the center with, with bearings on the outside and, and little ball bearings in the center. And all you do is spin it. I mean, it can spin for around five to, to eight minutes at a time. And this is a steel gold one. And, and I have a blue one. Um, I'll get it in a sec. The metal ones are typically a lot better than the plastic ones because metal ones are a little bit um, stronger and they can spin for a lot longer. Um, and the plastic ones, like let's say you have a two-pronged one, well there's well there's three-pronged ones and then there's two-pronged ones. Um, and see the, the three-pronged ones don't vibrate as much like when you're spinning it and thus it's a lot more stable and it'll spin for a lot longer. However, plastic ones uh, and two-pronged ones, those ones are a little bit not as stable. I mean, the two-pronged ones which I've seen with the Batman style ones, um, those ones, they, they vibrate like a ton and they cause, and they cause the spin to like cancel each other out like watch. Like here, I'm going to spin it a little bit, and now I'm going to... And now I'm going to vibrate it a little bit. So, observe. See how it... See how it slowed down a little bit? So watch. Okay, so now here comes... Oh, can you hear that? That sounds so weird. <laughs> I wonder how long this will take, though. Okay, so after a long time, now it's finally slowed down. So vibrations is not a good thing when you get a fidget spinner. And the three-pronged one, which is the one that I have, this one is probably the most stable, and here's some tips for you. Make sure it's metal, make sure that, make sure it's a three-pronged one, and thus it will give you a long-lasting spin. It's always a good thing when you have a fidget spinner like this one. <laughs> I love this one. Now see, one of the things that I've noticed about these fidget spinners is that they have taken over the world, and they have taken the, the world by storm, pretty much. And... And I can definitely see why. I mean, I've done my research. Sort of. But mostly these things were designed for... These things were mostly designed in for, for kids like with autism, like me, or ADHD, or, or disabilities with, with um, concentrating and stuff. And, and these are perfect for me. They're, pe they're good for people who are like fidgeting around with their hands. And people have been trying to conquer fidgeting for decades um and this is a perfectly good way and at the same time i'm thinking why is this a thing i mean it i mean think about it i mean it's a little thing and all it does is spin i mean that's all it does all it does is spin i mean why is this a thing and at the same time i'm very happy it's a thing <laughs> So there will be links down in the description below to go get your own fidget spinner. And let me go get that blue one I told you about. One sec, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my fidget spinner. <laughs> okay, so here's the gold one that you saw, which is very nice. And here... Oh, the video's done. <laughs> and here is the, is the one that I got. And if you notice right there, this is what the inside of the bearing looks like. As you can see, it is a... It's just a little ball bearing. Now this, I can't tell if it is plastic or not. It feels plastic, but at the same time it feels like metal. And each fidget spinner, depending on what kind you get, will have a different sound when it spins. So let me set these down on the table so you can see them, and I'll, let, and I'll give you a... I'll give you like an in-depth version of it. So as you can see here, this is the gold spinner right here. Looks very nice indeed. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so good on camera too. Okay. And it has a very nice spin to it, by the way. Okay, so let's put this down. Let's spin it on the table. As you can see, it looks very, very nice on camera. Stop it. Okay. Okay, now for the blue. I like the blue one myself. This one is, blue is one of my favorite colors, and I still gotta replace that. 
freaking bearing one too. Look at that, it looks so good on camera. It looks just as good. Hey, stop it. And as you can see that that also has a very nice spin to it as well. Um I think the I really think that the yellow one, like the gold one, is a little bit better. I mean I like shiny things too. So take a look at this. Thumbs up to that, and here they are spinning together, and as you can see, the bearing, the missing bearing right there, it looks really, really nice on camera. And it gives like a certain pattern to it, which I really like. Um, this is the fidget spinner comparison with the blue one and the gold one put together. So there's the blue one and there's the gold one. As you saw, the metal one seems a lot more stable, and it seems a lot more solid than a, uh, and say a plastic spinner and I'm not sure if this is and I'm not sure if this one is plastic or not but it still does spin really good um, compared to compared to this one but this one is missing a little um, bearing cover as you can see and this one has all of its bearings covered but at the same time it does seem it does seem a little bit better and uh, one of the things that I really like about this gold spinner um, is is how it reflects light. Like if you look, um, you can actually see the camera a little bit in there, and and I can also see my face in it is too. And it's really cool. Um, but one thing I really like about it is how it reflects light. Here, let me get my light real quick. One sec. Okay, so I have the little LED light that I use to light up my face at night, as you can see here. Uh, oh. Oh. Right. So yeah, I have these little lights here, and I have my um, gold fidget spinner. And gold is perfect for me because a lot of stuff in Ericland is covered in gold. Um, so I'm gonna take my light here. See how see how bright that is? Okay. Now we're gonna take the spinner and we're gonna spin it. Okay. And look at that. Look at how it reflects light. Look at that. It's so cool. It's really cool how these how these uh, metal shiny um, reflective fidget spinners work, and it's and it looks so cool. At, um, imagine doing this at night; that would be so cool. Oh, yeah, guys, that was my little fidget spinner review. And if you want to see more videos of me doing doing fidget spinners and reviews like this, then make sure to tell me down in the description below. And I love these things. I don't understand. I don't understand why they're so popular, but I don't understand them. But I love them. Ah. And I will put links down in the description below to go to go get your own fidget spinner. And I recommend the three pronged metallic ones. These ones are really good and they're shiny at the same time, and they make great patterns when they're spun, especially when I'm spinning them really, really fast and I'm and people have been doing challenges with them like um like 2000 mile per hour ones I am not doing that I'm sorry but I just don't want to I don't want to get impaled by one of these things this thing could kill so yeah if you want to go get your own fidget spinner then there will be a shop down in the description and and these things are just pl are just flat out awesome and I hope to see you again for another oh wait my bad don't forget to drop a big fat like on this. Um, uh, don't forget to drop a like, favorite, leave me a comment down below, and don't be and please visit our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I mean, please consider it because this is really awesome, and this is represents our golden, uh, uh, golden, golden goal. Ha! Ah. And, and I hope to see you again for another Eric Amiris Gaming 101 video. Bye everybody! Stare deeply into the... into the spinner. <laughs> I love doing this so much. Oh. Ooh.